This was our Odroid H4 computer at the end of the last video. We have expanded the basic H4 model by adding an M.2 SATA expansion board and connected it to two SATA hard disk drives. The SATA expansion board can support up to six SATA data connections and is connected to the 4x1 M.2 expansion board via an M.2 riser cable. Today we are going to be fitting the front fascia with cutouts to allow the power connection and access to all of the sockets. This fascia will be in two parts and will be made from perforated polypropylene which has been sprayed with red Plasti-Dip. And we're going to make use of the grooves in the maker beam struts to slide these into position. Then we will bolt back into place the vertical struts which will hold the fascia in place. Using the maker beam corner cubes makes it easy to leave the grooves free to accommodate the fascia. The part of the fascia that covers the sockets needs to have appropriate holes cut to accommodate both the power switch, the power cable and allow access to each of the sockets. The power switches can be purchased as an accessory on the Odroid website and are fully cabled up. We just need to feed the power switch into the fascia and secure it. Once this has been completed, we can then slide the fascia into place, taking care to position the Odroid power connector. Having a fascia made of a flexible material is a bonus, as it makes it easier to route the cable. These Odroid power cables can also be purchased on the Odroid website in the accessories section. As we did with the first fascia, we can now bolt the vertical maker beam strut into place. Our next task is to connect the power switch to the GPIO header connector. The power switch takes 3.3 volts, so it's important to connect the wires to the correct pins. Pin 1 for the black wire, pin 4 for the red wire, and pin 17 for the green, and finally pin 19 for the blue wire. With those connected, we can now do a cable tidy, as we don't want these connections popping out when we slide the computer into the rack. I'm also going to add some silicon rubber feet to the frame. This ensures that we will get no unwanted vibrational noise from the computer once it's in the rack. Secondary noise coming from the rack frame can be quite frustrating, and these eliminate it. And that is the computer completed. We now have full access to the sockets, and when operational, there will only be an Ethernet cable connected. There is room for a third SATA hard disk drive to be easily fitted, should it be required. Additionally, there is adequate room left in the frame to fit more 2.5 inch drives, either hard disk drives or solid state drives, should they be needed. The 200 watt HDplex power supply will have no issues providing power to any additional drives that are fitted in the future. And there is always the option of extending the frame to fit one or more 3.5 inch higher capacity drives. Hopefully you will have enjoyed this video, but that's it for today, thank you for watching.